Hey everybody, so in this next video we are going to be discussing monocytes. So monocytes is the final white blood cell that we will be discussing. So monocytes make up 2-8% to 8 of all the white blood cells. They're a little bit larger compared to the other white blood cells. And here are a couple other ways you can identify the monocytes. So they have a punched in look in their nucleus. And they also have the ability to exit the blood, just like um, some of the other cells that we discussed. There are two major types of monocytes. We have fixed, which are going to remain in one place. So over here. And um, a couple examples here are places like the liver, connective tissues, and our central nervous system. Right, so we talked about microglial cells last semester. We also have monocytes that do roam around the body. And we call these free monocytes. So what do they do? They are phagocytes as well. So they can roam around the body and um, be used for a number of reasons. So why do we have these specific phagocytes? So one example is when we're talking about fibroblasts, they help begin scar formation. So going back to the skin, when we talked about the integumentary system, their job is to secrete these chemicals into the blood to help with the fibroblast formation, as well as to clean the area and uh, prepare the body to scar or fix damaged tissue. They also secrete some clotting factors, which are again important for things like, well, before we start creating a scar, we want to stop the blood, I'm sorry, yeah, the blood from um, continuing to bleed out. So this will help with clotting the blood. And also you're gonna find them um, in places used uh, in the immune system, All right? So again, makes sense. Immunity with the monocytes, they're gonna help prevent our body from getting worse. So if there's a bleed or if there's some sort of infection, um, their job is to help clean up these areas to make sure your body stays in homeostasis. If you have any questions, let me know.